The international organization named the Truth and Justice Project yesterday said that two cases were filed against former Defense Secretary Gotabe Rajpaksha in the United States. They said that the cases relate to the murder of journalist Lasanta Vikramatunga and the alleged torture of a Tamil national named Roy Samanathan in Sri Lanka. The organization charged that the Canadian Samanathan was physically and mentally tortured by the Terrorism Investigation Division under the former Defence Secretary Rajpaksha in 2007 and was released in 2010 after getting him to sign a document under duress. A family member of slain journalist Lasanta Vikramatunga is said to have filed the other case. Organization dubbed the Truth and Justice Project claims that notices for both cases issued by US courts were handed over to the former Defence Secretary Gautabi Rajpaksha at the Trader Joe's car park in Pasadena, California on Sunday. However, a spokesperson for Gautabi Rajpaksha said that the former Defence Secretary, who is in the United States at present, rejected the reports which claimed that he was served with court notices in the US. The spokesperson also said that the former Defence Secretary is also not in the state of California but is in the state of Nevada. He added that Gautabi Rajpaksha would return to Sri Lanka on the 12th of April for the Sinhala and Tamil New Year. Meanwhile, the topic of the former Defence Secretary being served with notices issued by U.S. courts was also discussed at several platforms today. The issue here relates to the bona fides of this litigation. Is there a reasonable basis for these actions to be brought? The Vikramatunga matter is 10 years old. The Samanathan matter is 12 years old. Throughout that period, every year, Gautabi Rajapaksa has been visiting the United States. It is therefore remarkable that neither of these people felt it necessary to initiate action during the whole of that period, and suddenly they have come into life and decided to take this initiative. It is very clear what the motive is. The motivation is clearly connected with the presidential election that will take place in this country towards the end of this year. Both under the law of the United States and the law of Sri Lanka, there is a fundamental principle which has been accepted without question. That is the use of the judicial process, the use of the courts of a country to secure an irrelevant objective, political motivation. Now all these are attempts and high expectations that they can prevent Mr. Gotabi Rajapaksa renouncing the US citizenship, which qualifies him to contest the next presidential election. These are all futile exercises. As far as we are concerned, no summons have been served, even if it is true that has no bearing on him renouncing the citizenship. A, a case can be filed while he is a citizen or even after. That has nothing to do with uh, renouncing the citizenship. Now, what we must uh, remember is how many times government tried during the last four years to prevent him becoming the candidate. Initially, they even changed the constitution of this country, saying that uh, dual citizens cannot contest. Then they did so many investigations and tried to file so many cases. So they even influenced the judiciary and set up a special court just for Mr. Gotabi Rajapaksha. Now all these uh, attempts continue and they seem to be failing and this is the latest effort that filing a lawsuit, uh, which is also going to be another futile exercise.